Hey, what's happening everybody? RTR 2018. I'm here with Ron in a van and he's going to give us a little look at his uh, custom made camper van here. He's got a pretty cool setup and uh, tell us a little bit about his story. So uh, do you mind us looking around and yeah. showing us what this thing's go about? In. Let's go into my cabin. Uh. This is uh, pretty much it. This is my bed. I have storage underneath. Wow. And then uh, I have a water pump. Mm -hmm. For running water, nice. And uh, I don't have a. I just do it in the little uh, tea and pour it out. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to drill a hole in the floor. And then uh, I this I use as my pantry for food. It's a pretty thick plywood. That's yeah. uh, strong. Probably heavy. How did you finish this? How did you make it look like this? Because it looks really I, nice. I just uh, stained it and okay. then put a, a lacquer over it. Okay. Uh, not a shiny, but just, you know. Mm -hmm. and now, did you have much experience with woodworking before you never, did this? Never, ever. Really? So you're yeah. brand new and you made this, this is look all, this good. You can see it's just basic carpentry. That's it. Nothing mm -hmm. fancy. Uh, no one helped me with it. Nobody helped me with it. I did it all by myself. Nice. I just started thinking, okay, I want this closet. And I just started putting it together. The hardest part is getting the curves. Yeah. You know, and which you know, so and see how I did the curves back here. I left a little gap, but it, it still works out okay. No, I guess you can kind of see that, yeah. yeah. But I wanted a closet. This is my closet. What's this uh, What's this silver stuff back here? You got some insulation back oh, there? Oh no, that's a tape that holds the, uh, I forgot how it is, but I got reflectives. I got that soundproofing mm -hmm. on the walls mm -hmm. and I got uh, that foam. Okay. So it's about three quarters to an inch Great. of insulation all the way around. Nice, nice. And including the roof and, and everything. And you got a fantastic fan up here. And one here. Oh, and one back there. You got the dual fans. Yep. It's definitely the way to yeah. go. You got all kinds of lights up here. What are? Yeah, uh, I over it. I, I, I don't know why. I think I only used two out of the whole thing. Mm. And then I got the uh, th this kind of stripping too. The uh, Oh, these LED light yeah. strips. Yeah. And I use those a lot because they don't, and these are all LEDs, so they don't draw a lot, but I don't use them enough mm -hmm. to really justify having that many. But I'll tell you what, when you turn them all in, in here, it's light. So, and then I got a flat screen TV. Oh, wow. Look at that. And Hidden I got a there. DVD player. See right there. Uh, nice. Yeah. And then I have the, uh, this I've only used just one or two times these are for the cameras mm -hmm. I have inside and and outside to look all the way around the van and then uh, this will turn on the cameras this is an extra switch I can charge stuff in here and then I have the uh, water pump so what in, what in here are you glad that you did and what in here do you was a waste of time that wall this that, wall that wall I think was a waste of time because after I was worried about security and mm -hmm. people seeing me after I got that wall, after the first month or so traveling, I, I decided, you know what? I don't even need that wall. No one had bothered me. Yeah. You know, I put my little shade in the window and that's it. No one ever bothered me. So nice. uh, I think I, I built it where I could actually take the wall out, but you know, I'm gonna leave it in right now since it's that way. It yeah. would give me more room to uh, swivel that chair around like yours if I could mm -hmm. take that wall out. But that would be the only thing I change in this whole thing. I got uh, I got the refrigerator here that run off the solar. Uh, this is an actual refrigerator, wow. warm refrigerator. It's huge. Yeah, well, it works out well. I mean, I run it 24 seven, mm -hmm. you know. And how are you powering all of this? Uh, I just got the 200 watt uh, solars on top, which mm -hmm. you can see on top. And then uh, that's it, and a 2000 watt inverter. Wow, what about uh, batteries? What do you got from batteries? Well, I'll show you those in a second. And then the storage, I have more storage here. You know, uh, like uh, probably too much storage for one person, but anyway, towel rack. I mean, really, I mean, you have everything in here that a, a person wants. I went all the way across the country in this. I cooked inside. I I didn't miss anything. I enjoy it so much. Okay, so how long have you been in this thing? Uh, well, I've had it for a year. Okay. So, and I, I did a six month cross country trip in it. Nice. And then I came back home because mm -hmm. my wife got sick. So I mm -hmm. had to 
I had to call it quits for earlier. But I, I was gonna, the trip was gonna be a year. And then whenever she got sick, I had to make a beeline home. So. And you've got a YouTube channel as well, right? Yeah, Ron in a van. Ron in a van, yeah. here we go. Here, can I show you the... Uh, this is electronics back here, and my uh, camping gear storage. Wow, wow, look at all those batteries. So that that's what, this is a, uh, uh, since that's not a pure wave, this is saves your electronics. Oh, okay. Kind of keeps the bad, you know, it's not a pure wave, so I don't mm -hmm. want nothing, it's like a surge protector kind of. That's cool. Yeah, so. I didn't know they made those. Yeah, and they're only $58. Okay. And this plugs into that, and all your stuff plugs into this. So everything Clever. goes through that, yeah. You got and then a huge piped battery, in man. propane that goes up to the front mm -hmm. for my little buddy or my cook stove. And then all this is just for camping gear. This is really clean. So I just needed that little area for my camping stuff. Yeah, and you've got things mounted up here yeah, and back yeah, there. That's yeah. cool. You're you're a master of organization with this thing. Nah, don't this is bad. no, this is <laughs> this is probably the most organized like everything has a spot van I've seen. Well, you know as I do, when you you don't need a lot, you do more yeah. accumulation of stuff, and you don't need it. And the the only like I said, but see when you look through the front of this, it looks like a, a work van. See? Yeah, it does. Oh yeah, you got the you got yeah. the vest and everything. It's super clean up front. So it's real simple. That's good. <laughs> that's a it's very very stealthy. And oh, then I have these solar panels, but yeah, these are uh, for the screen. I have a screen that goes around here, and you open it right here. You can come in and out, and you put mm -hmm. the screen because when you get out of California and those other state, you got a lot of bugs. Oh yeah. So bugs bug me. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have the, uh, the strips here. I put the screens around the door and shut the door. And I can have these windows down. Nice. So, and that, and I keep the screens right here. See, clever, clever. That's it. And with those screens on, and when I put that mat in the front window, mm -hmm. you can't see in. I can see out, but you can't see in. Very nice. So, so what's your story? How did you end up building this thing out and living in it? What's the watching you guys? I sold my motorhome. And I told my wife I want to do a cross-country trip. I mm -hmm. started out. It took me 30 days to build this. And I left. I was in a hurry to build this so I could come to the RTR last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I left from the RTR across country. And I said I, I didn't want to take the motor home. I wanted to build one of these. And she says, well, go for it. And on my birthday, I left. Wow. My 62nd birthday. Wow. So, uh, and I... I, I would do, I would stay in this if something happened that I was single mm -hmm. I would go back to this and I would live the rest of my life doing this so what's what's gonna happen now you're the what's gonna happen now is I'm buying a uh, a, uh, a 40 foot diesel pusher mm -hmm. <laughs> with basically a home on wheels and that's what to get my wife to travel with me yeah, yeah. if she doesn't want to travel with me after a year then we're going to sell that i'm going to downgrade to something a little like a maybe a sprinter van or something that we can occasionally use mm -hmm. but uh we're not going to sell our home we're just going to keep it yeah as a home base okay but she says that she wants to go out full time with me then we're going to use that so what's it been like for you so far out here by yourself i like it i mean i haven't had no issues uh Nobody's ever bugged me. Uh, everybody's been pretty nice, and and I pick and choose like you where I want to go and where I want to stay and how long I want to stay. Mm -hmm. And no one's harassed me. You know, it's just been great. Met a lot of good people like you guys on the road. Yeah, yeah. And I continue to connect with them on the internet. Mm -hmm. So we're always, even though we're not meeting up, we're we're still chatting. Totally, so totally. It's pretty cool. So you haven't run into any issues at all. There's nothing. Uh... I can't. I'm boring, man. I cannot tell you of any bad issues that I had hmm? on. The, and that six months, I had nothing. Key West. Everyone said you can't camp in these in, in Key West. I stayed a month there. <laughs> where? Was, where? Can you, can you say? Do you yeah, want to say on just camera? on the streets? Really? I parked, blended in with everybody else with this. Yeah, you've got a really stealth setup so, here. So nobody, nobody, don't say they can't, don't listen to them because you can do it, you know. So I stay, I, I said, uh, 
my wife says, you have to leave sooner or later. I love Key West so much, I didn't want to leave. Almost cried. But <laughs> I stayed a month there. Key West is great. Yeah. There's I mean, guanas and chickens everywhere. Oh, yeah. How cool everywhere. is that? Everywhere. I mean, yeah. I lost my van one time. I went to the bars and got drunk, and I lost my van. My my phone died, so I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around 3 o'clock in the morning. But, but uh, literally, I went to Florida and some of those high-dollar towns, mm -hmm. and a, another place said, you can't camp there. The cops will get you. No. I camped right in front of million dollar homes. Wow. Yeah. And no one said nothing. Balls of steel. Yeah. So, <laughs> but well, you got you got any words of wisdom for uh, somebody who's just getting into this? Don't be afraid, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. That's it. Don't look back. You'll it'll be the best thing you ever did in your life. Right on. Alright, buddy. Well you guys heard it there. Thanks for watching. Love yourself. <laughs>